I say something? Hey, good morning again, everybody. This is Jake. Um, we just came from church today. Uh, I just felt like I need to speak up about what's uh, going on again at our church. You know, in we got so many Marthas <laughs> in the church. You know that parable? I mean, that story when um, our Lord went to the house of uh, um, Lazarus and his, and his sisters, Martha and Mary. And he was uh, preaching to his disciples, right? Mary was there by the foot of our Lord, listening and intently uh, conversing with our Lord. And Martha was busy with the kitchen doing chores. And uh, she dared to complain to Jesus and uh, told him, Jesus, can you not uh, tell, you know, uh, tell my sister to help out here, you know? Uh, what's she doing just sitting there with you? Uh, I'm busy here doing chores and my sister is just there. Can you tell her to help me out? What did our Lord tell her? Martha, Martha, you're busy with so many things, yet only one thing is necessary. And Mary has chosen the better part, and it shall not be taken away from her. Mary has chosen the better part, the better part of intimacy, the better part of being with our Lord in spending a few minutes with our Lord um, who came to visit uh, their house. This past months in our church, St. Joseph's, there's been something that's been happening which is not really right. Every Monday they get every parishioner out of church because they need to do a, an administrative chore. Okay? And they tell everybody to please leave and when we're done with this, just come back. You know, there's something fundamentally wrong with that. That's not only humanly rude, but that is also theologically wrong. People are at church doing their thanksgiving after Mass. Thanksgiving is a tradition that has been encouraged in our uh, church for the longest time. And just like Mary, it should not be taken away from them. Mary has chosen the best part. We have chosen the best part to stay and remain to do our thanksgiving. After receiving our Lord at Holy Communion, we want to give thanks to our Lord for having graciously come to our souls bodily, body, soul, uh, uh, um, uh, and divinity. Um, you know, our Lord wanted to dwell in us in Holy Communion. And we would like to thank Him for, um, uh, for that grace. But every Monday, we're told to get up and leave. And come back after the Marthas have done their chores. Let's remember what our Lord said. Mary has chosen the better part. It should not be taken away from her. So why are the Marthas trying to take away our privilege of doing our thanksgiving in, a, in recollected prayer right before the tabernacle at church? That is very fundamentally wrong. That is theologically wrong, pastorally wrong. Yet our Marthas insist that they have to do an administrative chore and they have to drive us out. Some of the Marthas even suggest, well, you know what? If you don't like what we're doing here, why don't you just leave the church? Why don't you just go somewhere else? <laughs> you know what? That would be the convenient, the cowardly thing to do. But I have news for you. Uh, I and all the Marthas as well have a baptismal commitment and have a confirmation to live up to. The sacrament of confirmation uh, makes us soldiers of Christ and we are supposed to defend the traditions of the faith. We are supposed to stand up, speak up and not be cowardly and kowtow to the Marthas who don't understand uh, that the administration of the affairs of the church cannot be done in the same manner you would administer a company or a, a government bureaucracy. Administering the affairs of the church has to be done with pastoral theology. It has to be done uh, uh, in keeping with theological truth and with traditions of the church. You cannot be a bureaucrat 
running the business of the church. So it is theologically wrong to make people leave the church who are there trying to do their thanksgiving. Okay? And by virtue of my confirmation, I am going to stand up for what is right. And nobody is going to silence me. You know, a saint once said, okay, honey, we'll finish shortly. Hell is full of good people with closed mouths. I don't want to be one of them. <laughs> I, I don't want to be one of them. So I got news for you, the Marthas of our church. Might be bad news for you, but I'm going to stick around. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? So it's either you change the way you're doing things, or you will sure hear more from me. And I hope many of our parishioners at St. Joseph's do the same thing. Stand up for what is right instead of being intimidated by the Marthas around us. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.